Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on one of my most favorite coffee mugs, the Joy Jolt Glass Coffee Mug. I get a lot of people asking me about this coffee mug. I'm going to do a review and kind of where you can buy it. So they sell this, it's a 16 ounce coffee mug glass. You get six of them for $25, but usually there's a four or five dollar coupon. You click on that, you can get an extra. So around 20 bucks for for six of them is a really good deal. They normally have these in stock. I'll put a link to these in my show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you do click on the link, I get a little bit of money from the click. The products don't cost you anymore, but it is a way of supporting my channel. I buy all of my own products with my own money. So here's the box they come in. It's a pretty decent box and they, none of them were broke. This box was in another box. So they do wrap them up pretty good. So here I've got all six of them. Now the thing about these are they're not double wall insulated. That's like a single wall, really thick. And I'm gonna brew a cup of coffee here in a second. So if you do touch the outside of this with really hot coffee in there, it does get pretty hot. The handle never gets hot. So it is a good way and I've never burnt my mouth from this being hot up here where the lip is, but where the coffee kind of sits, it can transfer through and it does get kind of hot. Now to me, a 16 ounce, 16 ounce is just the right size for a coffee cup. Normally I brew my coffees at around eight ounces when I use a Keurig. So these fit in the dishwasher really well. Now I did have one crack on me. If you saw a video a couple weeks ago, I was doing a K-cup and it just kind of, you heard it, it went pop. And I looked at it and there was just a big crack running all the way through it. So another viewer told me that maybe I should preheat these. So um, before I brew my Keurig in there, I should run some hot water through these to kind of get it up to temperature first. Okay, so let's brew a cup of coffee. I've got the new K-Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker with brew ID. It's gonna give me the recommended setting. All right, we're gonna do an eight ounce balanced warm. Just press the K button. Now, one of the main reasons I originally bought these was just so everybody could see the coffee brewing. But I've had a lot of people comment on these coffee mugs that want to know where I bought them and how they're holding up. So I thought I would do a video just on them. I have found myself using these as a normal coffee mug now too. But these are great for demonstrations of how a, a coffee maker brews coffee. Okay, so here we've got our fresh cup of coffee. Again, the bottom doesn't get warm. Right, right here is pretty warm. You know, that's a pretty hot cup of coffee. The handle is not warm at all. And when I drink it, it, this doesn't get warm where your lips go. But I could definitely, I probably couldn't, you know, if, you're, if you want to warm your hands up, you can hold it like that. But not for very long you couldn't because it will kind of burn you right in there. Not super bad, but it does get pretty hot right there. Now keep in mind, your coffee is gonna cool off really fast with this. It's not insulated in any way, it's just kind of a thick glass. So again, from a reliability, I've used the heck out of these and I did have one crack, but the rest of them haven't cracked. And so I think they're doing pretty good. You do get six of them, it is a pretty reasonable price. I love that they fit in the dishwasher really well. Once in a while, I will get a ring um, around them that the dishwasher won't take off. Like at the coffee with creamer set, in a certain spot for a while, I'll get a ring and I gotta get in there. It just wipes off real easy though. So again, thanks everybody for your support. If you could, please like and subscribe.